You got Chick-fil-A? You got Chick-fil-A? I just got a sandwich. I was really hungry. I've never had Chick-fil-A. I want to try it. You've never had Chick-fil-A? I've never had Chick-fil-A. Dad, you're missing out. Shut up. Sorry. Do me a favor. Can you bring me no. the scissors? No, because you didn't bring me any Chick-fil-A. So, <laughs> you're not going to get any out. scissors. Do a rush. Give them tick like dumpling. Give them tick like dumpling. Can you please stunt it? <laughs> Yo, get out. You just hate me. Oh my god, here we go. It's just because you hate me. And. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I know! I know! That's what you were. I knew it. Hey, what is the next? <laughs> do you should dead do my makeup. You know what? I'm gonna dead do my own makeup and come back in your video looking fly. Because she don't appreciate me. So Let's, let's zoom in on the eyebrow process. So, we just outline them. I already started this one when the camera was back, so I'll zoom in when I do this one. Being that, you know, we're all quarantined and all the nail salons and everything is closed, my brows are kind of looking rough, so we gotta really conceal them because I need to get my eyebrows done. Like, look at this brow. It's a horrible brow. But we're gonna make it work. Guys, I did my first twist out. It's not like amazing, but I feel like I did a really good job. This is day two. I took it out yesterday. But okay, let's get back to the brows. So first, I just brush them in the direction that they grow, obviously. Then I take my spoolie and I just like do that. I don't know if that even really does anything, but whatever. Then I take my pencil. I am using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's in the color espresso oh. i'm just going to line the bottom of the brow starting at the front but we're going very light we don't want a harsh line so we're just going to put it in a shape i usually like to follow the natural shape of my brow then we're going to do the same with the top but we're not going to start right at the beginning we're going to start like after you know like when your brow hairs like the front brow hairs go up and then they start to go to the side we're going to start the line on the top when they start going to the side we just connect the two right don't worry about how it looks now. Once we conceal it, we'll be all, we'll be okay. So now I like to spread out my brow hairs, right? And then we're gonna fill it in. Yeah, my reference <laughs> just broke. I need to take time because this was ten dollars and this has to last me until who knows when. All right. Now that they're both colored in, we're gonna just make sure we spread out that product. So now we're gonna take our concealer brush. I got this one from Amazon. Is just a regular flat concealer brush. Take our concealer. I'm going to use the Too Faced if it would get into the shot. Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Chai. And then on the top of the brow, well, I like to use concealer on the bottom and foundation on the top. Period. So I'm going to use my MAC. Take notes, girl. Studio Fix Fluid in the shade nw55 I'm gonna make so i'm just gonna take some of the concealer i'm gonna put it on the back of my hand like that then we're gonna take some of the foundation and put it on the back of my hand and i always like to keep like a wipe or something just to wipe my brushes off with so now we're gonna take the concealer i like to get it on both sides make sure it's a healthy amount now we're gonna get into carving the brow so before i apply concealer i make sure to look wait look guys look how cute the ipad is look at canada Anyways, after that, look, it's a composition notebook. Oh, we just zoom it out so that way they can see. It's a composition notebook. What type of iPad is this again? The newest the one, the Pro. iPad Pro. It's like the XR, but in a phone version, period. Bye. <laughs> period. All right, so I'm gonna go, I like to start right. It depends. On some days, I like to start carving right at the arch, and some days I like to start at the front. So we're just gonna start at the front today. So. We're gonna lay our flat. I'm holding my brush like this, like a pencil, kind of. 
and I have my hand on my face to give me more control of the brush so we're gonna start right at the tip pause we're gonna start with a slight line like that then the farther I go I like to add a little bit more product and then we're literally just gonna follow follow the actual under the line that we created just taking your time So what I like to do, I like my brows to be more a straighter line. I don't like it to be like a curved brow. So once I get to after the arch, so we already carved out the arch. Once I get to like towards the tail, I like to go down but more of like a straight motion. Kind of like that. Good. That's okay. So now what I like to do is I like to take the concealer brush and just bring down the concealer onto my eyelid and use that as a base. And then just like cover basically the whole eye. Just like so. That's the thing when you don't have your eyebrows done, it's so hard to do your brows because it's like the little hairs get in the way and ugh, just bothers me so much so now i'm gonna go in with my concealer buffer brush honestly do not ask me where i got this brush from i got it years ago in like marshall's or tj maxx and it came in a set and i've had this for years so don't ask me i really can't tell y'all what's the name of it this was like my first brush yet and this is like the only brush that i have left from the set i'm just gonna take this and just buff out all that concealer when it comes to the front like i bring it towards my nose right and then I bring it like a dab it right at the, the front of the brow. I just make sure that all that concealer is blended out evenly to get right under the brow. Because sometimes a lot of concealer like gathers up right there. So we're just gonna put it out. Okay. That's the bottom of that brow done. Now let's get to the top of the brow. So we're gonna wipe off our brush with your makeup wipe, to paper towel, whatever, towel, whatever. And now we're gonna take the foundation and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna douse the brush in it and make sure like it's an even spread. So when I douse it, like when I go like this, like I like do this motion to like make sure that it's even. Cause sometimes it could be more concealer on one side. And even if it's, if you feel like take an empty space for your hand and like evenly distribute the foundation. Now we're gonna carve out the top. So we're gonna hold it kind of like the same way we did but I usually like to put my fingers like this so that way I have more control over the brush and we're just gonna start right at the tip and make sure yes with the brush make sure you like clean off the sides like make sure you hold it like this and like clean out the sides because you don't want too much product when you're carving out the top so we're just gonna lay the brush flat right at the top and we're just gonna start following that same line and sometimes I'll pick my fingers up to like make sure that I'm getting the right exact amount of control. And make sure you brush it up. Make sure you're taking your time with this part though. It's a little bit harder to fix this part carving out the top than it is carving out the bottom. So make sure like you take your time. I'm gonna let y'all know right now, I'm a, a brow fanatic so I can tell that these aren't the best brows. But they're good for what I'm working with, being that my brows need to be done. And yeah, not the best brow, but they're okay. And then I like to like bring my hand over here and like create a line like that for the extra precision. Right, and then we do the same. We just bring the product up. Just like how with the concealer we brought it down, we bring the foundation up. I'm using my, for the top of the brow, I use two different brushes, being at the two different shades. For the top of my brow, I like to use the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And this is what it looks like. And we're just gonna like buff out the foundation like so. And that is how we do a brow. It's not the best brow, but it's just gonna have to work. And then what I like to do is like I let it like what <laughs> I like to go in with my spoolie and I just brush the front and I just lay the hairs in their places like that. All right, so I'm gonna go off camera and do the other brow and then we'll be right back. 
Okay, so now we're gonna get into the skin. I don't know if I wanna do eyeshadow. Alright, because it's my shadow. Extra concealer on the eyes. We're gonna do a cranberry smoky eye. So today we're gonna use the James Charles palette. Mine's is really beat up, we're not gonna talk about that. But this is the palette we're gonna use. I'm gonna start with some transition shades. So I'm gonna take this color right here. And we're gonna take, let me zoom y'all in. So we're gonna take a fluffy brush, a fluffy blender brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. I forgot the number, it's like gone now, but whatever. So we're gonna take this brush into that transition shade. I'm gonna just put that over her crease. And sometimes I like to lift my eye up to get into my crease because I have hooded lids, hooded eyes, I mean. So I'm gonna put it on in there. I like to use circular motions to blend that. And this is just gonna serve as a base for the rest of our colors. So we're just taking that transition shade and we're just putting that all in our crease. We're just gonna do the same on the other side. Make sure when you put down your base, your concealer, your eyeshadow primer, whatever, that is nice and blended. No lines, cause then those lines will appear in your eyeshadow. So we're just gonna do the same on the other side. The other side, the other side, the other side of me. So let me tell you about my day. So I wanted to record earlier. It's about, it's 5.37. Now I wanted to record earlier, but I had no eyebrow pencil no lashes and I need a new bronzer so I decided to go to Target and if you know New York is very much quarantined right now so when we got to Target the line which is at Atlantic Mall it was just crazy bro it was crazy but they were I commend the people that's working at Target at Atlantic because they moved really quickly like I was in and out of there so you know you go to Target and say you're gonna buy one thing or you say you have a certain amount of things to buy and then you come out of there and so that happened to me so then I went to Chick-fil-A and I got my chicken sandwich. I'm about to eat it in a minute. Now I'm going to take this shade right next to the transition shade. This one right here. And we're going to put that exactly where we put the first shade with the same brush. And we're just going to go circular motion. She'll wipe her motions in circular. One she'll circular. It's the best way to blend. If you see like a harsh line or if you feel like the colors aren't blending, go back with your first shade. And I like to get it on the side of my brush. And I like to lay the brush like flat and then go like this. To like make sure that that line is really nice and blended. And you could bring that shade up as far as you want. Just make sure that it's blended. The farther you go up, make sure it's more blended. So now we're gonna go in with a different brush. I'm gonna go in with my, where is it? I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E17 brush. And I'm gonna go into the shade Whatever this shade is, it's right next. So I, I used this one first, then this. Now I'm using this one. And we're going to go a little bit under our crease. So my crease is like up here. I'm going to go like right under and like start. Like you can feel, like if you use the, like wherever your eye caves in. Whatever that is. Because everybody's eye shape is different. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to like literally follow where that cave in. Like you can feel it. Like you can feel like the bone or whatever that is. I had to go order this food for my family. So let's get back to the eye. Just do the same to get it right in that crease. All right, so once that color is nice and in there, now we're going to take the shade right above it. This one, this cranberry shade. And we're gonna pack that on our lid. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics brush. I don't know what number it is or whatever. I got it in a set. So we're just gonna literally pack this onto the lid. We're packing this and we're bringing it up a little bit into that last shade that we put in our crease just to make it blend smoothly and we're doing tapping motions. Tap 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 Nice and simple. And the eyes are done basically. Well the top of the eye. Now we're gonna we're just literally gonna line the lash line. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I lay I usually put my fingers like this and bring down the skin. 
I look like this. I always have the the this is my mirror. Say hey. See if I can see the camera. I have it under me like this. And I get the liner. I'm using the NYX matte liquid liner, my favorite liner. Make sure there's not too much on the brush. So I use my fingers and I bring down my eye while I'm looking down onto the mirror. And I hold it in these two fingers, my thumb, like a pencil, as I said before. And I raise up my eyebrow to give me all the space. And I start at the corner. And then once I lay it flat, I just bring it around town. Just like that. And then I just fill it in. Just like that. So usually I get 3D mink lashes or uh, foam mink lashes, but being that all the beauty supply stores are closed in New York because um, they are not considered essential workers, we have to go to Target and get what, we, what they had. So they had the Ardell foam minks. Um, they're more on the natural side from what I usually do, so I'm probably going to stack them. But these are in the number 811. So I'm going to take the lash. And if this is your first time putting on lashes, I'm going to show you how. So you're going to hold them with your tweezers. Like so in the middle. In the middle of the lash. And you're going to play. You're going to hold your tweezers like this. And you're going to place them. Make sure you have a, the mirror up like this. And you're going to see if you need to cut them. I'm just going to cut like literally a little bit. I'm gonna use our glue. I use the duo. The only lash glue I use is duo. The black or the clear one like this. We're going to get the glue on there and we're gonna put it right on the lash band. We're gonna let that dry for like 10 to 20 seconds so it can get tacky so that way it just sticks automatically on once we put it on. And usually while these are drying this is when I'll take the time to put on my mascaras. Can we really get into my puff? Do y'all see them curls? So I hold them like this in the middle, in the middle of the lash band, and I hold my fingers like this, and I look down onto my mirror, and I literally place them right on top. Then we tuck, we pull and tuck, pull and tuck the inner corner, like so, and pull and tuck the outer corner. Look at that. Look how a lash can just make a look, look 10 times better. Now, we take our finger or the tweezers or a lash curler or whatever you decide to prefer and we pinch. Now the eyes are almost done. We can get into the face. Now, I was talking about primers. So, I like to use the, it's almost done, don't judge me. I like to use the Morphe Revitalizer Foundation Primer, the Revitalizer and this is the one I put on first. I put this areas on my face. And just oh, I already put moisturizer on before I started recording. So then, for my pores or fine lines, I go in with my. Let me tell y'all something. Do not never sleep on travel size products because I've had this for months and I still I use it on my clients. I use it on myself and it still has something here. I've had this for months, like legit. The benefit poor professional all right and i put this here 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 then i have oily skin honestly my skin hasn't been as oily as it used to be it used to be extra oily like when i wake up my nose would be an oil slick but i feel like because i've been taking good care of my skin that it's gotten a lot better but i still use this because i know when i put on makeup my oil my nose gets really oily so i don't care what nobody gotta say it works for me my milk of magnesia. I put some on my finger and I just dab it all over my nose. So make sure you just dab it and you let that dry. I forgot where I left off. But yeah, so I started working at products and I started making mad money, right? And then when this corona thing came on, I was like, I couldn't work anymore. I was sad because I was like, damn, I waited so long to get a new job. And then here comes corona just messing everything up. But being that I'm home, you know, I'm, not, I'm getting to spend a lot of time with my family, which I really like. And yeah. Okay, now we're gonna take, I take my concealer brush and I dip it into my foundation and I put like streaks on my face and then I go in with my foundation brush and I blend that out. She thought you were recording. I am recording. Can I say hello? Yeah, come. Happy season. Wanna say hello? Yo. <laughs> I'm taking my. BH Cosmetics number three brush. 
it's just a flat top foundation brush it's my favorite and i like to spray it with my jeffree star x morphe i know we don't really work with jeffree star but it's a, i love the way it smells so that's the only reason why i'm using x spray the brush a little bit get a little bit damp when it comes to my skin as you can see i should have pointed up before i put my foundation on but my forehead is a lot darker than the rest of my face which i don't know if that's the norm like a normal for a lot of people but it's the norm for me so it's very hard for me to match my foundation but i make it work but i make like i know how to like finesse the skin to make it all look cohesive and look at the skin come on skin look, let me give you a, a close-up on the skin though come on skin looking flawless so to make it work so being that my face looks a little bit darker than my chest this is why we go in with a light concealer so i'm going to take the same concealer that we used to do our brows and we're going to highlight so i like to put it under my eyes first and i like to i like to put it under my eyes first but blend that out last i'll explain that later put that on the chin cupid's bow the forehead and down the nose and for contour i like to cream contour so i'm going to take the black opal foundation stick in the shade ebony brown and we're just going to contour our face so i like to blend out my contour first i'm going to take my real techniques expert face brush this one right here to blend out my contour i feel like while we're all quarantining you know stuck in the house or whatever I feel like we should take this time to better ourselves, you know, learn a new skill, you know, like do something productive. Like I'm taking my time to like record because, you know, I have the time. Like I've been wanting to do this YouTube thing, but I always felt like I didn't have the time. I feel like I never had the time to uh, record because either I was at work or I was at school or I was at church or I was busy doing something. But now that there's none of that. I take my time and I record, I edit, I work out more, I'm investing more into myself. I need a lot of time to actually think, you know, get my life together and stuff. So, you know, when we come out, God's willing, when, when we come out of this quarantine and this corona is all under control, you know, we can come and we can step out fresh and brand new with a new mindset. So, yes, take this time to really, like, work on yourselves, you know? So, I'm going to take the bottom, not the pointy part bottom and we're gonna start with the chin so now I'm using the side of the pointy I'm not I don't know how to contour my nose like I'm not gonna okay, go back and forth and then and then I go in with my foundation brush to make sure it's all, all extra blended we you can never be too blended are nice and cohesive with the rest of the face we do not want any harsh lines perfect look at that skin mmm she's juicy Period. So I like to use two different powders. They're both the same, just different shades. Both Mar Laura Mercier. Nobody's beating her at this powder game, and that's it. Um, the medium deep. I go in with that first. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques setting brush. I love this brush; it's one of my favorite brushes. And we're just gonna get into that powder, and we're gonna go under the eye first, then go directly under with the powder, like right under there, just like that directly in with the brush and like press that into the skin let's go on to start right between the brows we're just gonna go in with this and this literally only goes under the eye go right under here just to make me mini bake so while that's sitting there we're gonna go in with my bronzer the black radiance soft focus finishing powder in milk chocolate let's see how i feel about this okay okay oh i like this i like it it's nice and subtle it's like not doing like it's not overpowering my face and it sets the cream contour really nicely so we're just dusting off that bake now we're gonna go with some blush i want to take this brush palette it's by ruby kisses don't come for me because it works and i'm gonna take this shade and I'm going to take my big blush brush from Real Techniques. It's the 400 brush. It's called Blush Brush, obviously. And we're going to tap into this shade right here. It's very pigmented, so take time. 
back to origin. So I, I don't know, I, I got this trend from this girl on my TikTok. I feel like it looks so cute, like it makes you look like you have no but you know. Okay, so now we're gonna spray the face. And while that dries, I need to apply my highlight right before it completely dries. So this is from NK Perfection, it's the highlighter. And it's in the color copper, please do not judge me. I have hit pan a long time ago, but there is some still in there. So I use my Morphe Y15 brush. We smile. And we glow, honey. I need y'all to get into it. I know you see that. She is gleaming. This is my favorite highlight, if you can't tell. Look at the highlight. Give us that glow, yes. On the lip, on the chin, on the forehead. We like to glow, we like to glow over here. Now all that's left is the lips. So it doesn't even have the company on it, but whatever. It's a dark brown lip line. I'm gonna mix better gloss in praline. Put gloss on top, so. I'm gonna go on top of it with some clear lip gloss. Any clear lip gloss is fine. I'm using the Root Kisses lip oil. I'm just gonna put it on my finger. All right, so the face is done. Let me just go put on some new clothes and we'll be right back for the outro. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Let me zoom you in. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button. You always wanna come back and see the new content that I have coming, which I do have a lot of content coming, so make sure you stay tuned. And until the next video, I'll see you guys, bye.